I wrote a book last year called Beware of Frenemies. This is a bulletproof axiom of life. I guarantee you this is 1,000% bulletproof. When we look at the mistakes and failures that we've made, it is guaranteed that frenemies are at play. There are three types of frenemies. Frenemal number one is family. Say family. <laughs> Whether intentional or unintentional, family can enable dysfunctional behavior. Some of you have been asked when you were younger to do some things by your parents, and they were asking you to do them because it was about discipline. They got tired, they got fed up because they was working real hard, and they decided, let me go ahead and do it. Some of you were dating some boys that, you know, your mom knew was going to break your heart. She didn't say nothing to you. That boy broke your heart. Mama knew because she knew he wasn't about nothing. Some of you guys out there making bad decisions. You made bad decisions. You survived it because you're here. So family is number one. Friend, friend of number two are friends. Two Fs. Say friends. These are people that are in our inner space, people that smile in our face and stab us in our back. I don't know you guys, IGers, Instagrammers, and all that kind of stuff. They didn't have that when I was growing up, but I know a lot of y'all are doing that, and Twitter and all this other kind of stuff. These are the people you defriended off of that, that your page because they showed something or said something to somebody about you, smiled in your face and stabbed you in your back. That's friends. And then the third one is the most dangerous of the three. It's the friend that's the enemy on the inside. It's the voice that speaks to us. The reason it's the most dangerous of the three is because it's a friendly voice. Understand what I'm saying? This is the voice that encouraged you and others said you couldn't do something. That was the voice that said, you can do this. Girl, you can do this. Dog, you can do this. That same, but that's the same voice that told you to do something you shouldn't have done. And I don't want to get anybody's business because we know we've all done something we shouldn't have done. And I'm going to leave it at that. But when you look at the mistakes, it's guaranteed that one, if not two, if not three of those frenemies are at play. It will always be that way. And the other thing to remember, too, and the most important thing about this is we all have them. This program isn't about saying you bad, you this, you. That's not what this is about. This is about recognizing that we all have frenemies, but we have to learn how to deal with them, how to manage them. That's what's most important. It's not about whether somebody is this or somebody is that. That is what we are going to be teaching our kids, is to get them to understand that there are these forces around us and these forces within us that allow us sometimes to make bad decisions. And what we want to do is correct the bad decisions. 